What is happening, everybody? Coffee and Craze Day 3. I got my Pugs and Kisses mug. Very special one. My daughter got me this one like a few years back. Alrighty, we're going to go over some fun collector topics for the week. Uh, I got a couple Silver Tempest packs we're going to rip. So let's get into it. Alrighty, first things first. This is a big week for collectors. New TCG just came out. I'll show you guys this one. It is the One Piece trading card game. Very exciting. The box looks fantastic. I'll do a do another look at it here, but it is looking, it looks amazing. It's made by Bandai, so it's similar to Digimon, like the style of box. There's a box topper in it. 24 packs with um, 12 cards in each pack. The Digimon pull rates are typically like one secret rare and one alternate art per box, or like two secrets usually. Um, so you're usually guaranteed something decent for that. I'm planning on opening one of these up later, uh, possibly on Instagram tonight. And the cards look great. I think the artwork looks awesome. I collected a few boxes in Japanese and they looked awesome. I didn't hit anything uh, too crazy. I did hit one alternate art. Pretty exciting. I heard the card game itself is very fun to play. It sounds really good. Um, there's like some catch up mechanics if you're losing, unlike with Pokemon. I think there is a similar prize card situation, but if you uh, lose a, if you lose a battle, you actually get an extra card instead of your the winning per person of the battle getting an extra card. So I don't know, I might try and play it. I might try and build a deck. We'll see how it goes. Next up for this week, I did pick up a box. I've been meaning to get one of these for a while of the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse series. Um, by Upper Deck, very small box here. It contains uh, seven packs per box. I opened one with my daughter and we pulled the this awesome Dimensions Collide Spider-Gwen card. It looks really cool. It's a variant, so it's a color collide. My daughter was so stoked to pull that card. She loves Spider-Gwen. And she was like, oh, dad, can I keep that card? I was like, hell yeah, you know, keep it. Um, so I opened two packs. I'll show, I'll show some of the cards here. Um, you know, there's some really cool Miles cards. Uh, they're all they're all from the movie, so they look fantastic. They're really cool. I, I posted a video on Instagram. People really liked it. That set was actually released in November, and the movie came out in 2018, which is weird. I mean, it's very super delayed. I don't know why, but anyways, so I would definitely highly recommend checking these out if you're a Spider-Man fan. I'm a big, I love the Spider-Verse storyline. I have all the comics for Spider-Verse, so definitely check those out if you don't already. And yeah, let's get into some Pokemon packs. We got a little Silver Tempest here. I'm still chasing that Lugia alternate art. I have pulled the Unknown twice alternate art, which is pretty wild. Sold one of my extra cards. Oh, got something in this one. But yeah, I mean, other than that, in the Pokemon world, I've mainly been playing Scarlet and Violet. I'm probably gonna do a separate video on Scarlet and Violet, like my first kind of react, first impressions, I should say, of the game. I think it's fantastic. I don't know why people are so critical of it. I, I will, I shouldn't say I don't know why. I do get why people are critical of it with the performance issues. But other than that, the story is fantastic. The open world mechanics are amazing, and it's just a very fun Pokemon game to play. Oh, sweet, I don't have that card yet. The Malamar. Wow, that one's fantastic, look at that. And then we got, oh, an unknown V, sweet. We'll be sleeving up with the Vault X sleeves, little shameless plug. You can use the code Catch a Craze for 10% off your first order of Vault X. Quick look at some of the binders. They're dope. Back to Scarlet and Violet. I think it's a great game, I completed all the badges, I just started the end, end game. I kind of ran through it this week pretty quick. And I've really enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed the um, story. I've enjoyed the characters. I enjoy the new Pokemon, I like Annihilate a lot. I'll probably talk about those more in another video. Ninetales, Rotom, Bunnery, Dreepy, Fanfy, Butchling. We got the uh, Reverse Anurith. Forget that guy. Arcanine, that's cool Arcanine, right? Very, very cool. I like that one. Another big topic that I almost forgot this week is we have V-Star Universe that just came out yesterday. The cards from there look fantastic. I'll throw up some of the gold ones on the screen. I'm sure if you're following Pokemon cards, especially the Japanese ones, you've seen some of these already, but they look amazing. I got like five boxes of that coming 
hopefully soon. I haven't gotten a shipping notification yet, but I cannot wait to open that set. It looks fantastic. There's like so many secret rares and there's, you know, reprinted cards as well, but it looks amazing. The alternate arts, the art rares, the special art rares, everything in it looks awesome. I cannot wait to open that one. And with that, that's the end of Coffee and Craze day three. Have a great Saturday. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to catch that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.